Hey YouTube, this is Bill coming to you with another mix and match PA solution video. So today we have up at bat the famous, the one and only, the number one champion of many households is the Bose S1 Pro. On the right, joining the champion is, I wouldn't say equally as popular, but very popular. And that is the JBL Party Box series. In this case, it's the 110. So I'm going to say right off the bat, uh, I would not probably buy this system from scratch if you don't have either one. This system is a little over $1,000 for the two of these. And for that money, I would spend a little more probably and bring it up to $1,200 and get the Bose Pro 8 which I do not own, so you're not gonna see a video of that, but uh, I've heard great things about it, and um, I think it, would, it might outperform these two, or it might be the equal, and if, if it was the equal, I'd rather carry one PA solution than uh, two stands and two speakers. It makes it that much easier. Okay, so are we ready? Ready, 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 ready. There you go. Isn't that a feature that every DJ or performing musician needs? Might be worth the extra money right there. So let me go over the rationale for making this video. So I said it's not something I would probably go out and buy if I didn't own either one from scratch. But I'm thinking the Bose S1 Pro is in so many households, it's very, very popular all these years. It's been out for a number of years. Uh, the Party Box 110 is also super popular. Many people own it. So I'm thinking how, I thought, how would these two perform together? So let me back up. The Bose S1 Pro, besides its super light weight and for, small 15-pound form factor, is really a beautiful sounding speaker for its size. It's very smooth, mid-range. It has the bo Bose famous um, throw, it fills one little speaker, can throw a large, uh, fill up a, a large room of sound. So that mid-range hi-fi sound is what really I'm impressed with the Bose S1 Pro. But there's always a uh, negative. There's never a perfect PA solution that I found yet. The Bose S1 Pro is really lacking in bass. So it needs a subwoofer. And if you've seen my past videos, pairing it up with a real subwoofer like the Bose Sub 1, it just transforms it into an incredible full range micro system. But that subwoofer is $900. And the other downside is it's not AC. I'm sorry, it's not battery powered. It's only AC powered. So the Bose S1 Pro is battery powered you want to try to stick with a whole battery-powered solution. So that's the problem. Until Bose comes up with their own battery-powered subwoofer, I'm on the hunt. So the, e, the JBL is also a very hi-fi sounding speaker. Really, I'm very impressed. I bought it without ever hearing it in person. I bought it from other reviewers on YouTube. Like some of you are listening to me for the, and maybe have never heard either one of these speakers. So it had so many good reviews. Um, I gave it a try. I purchased it. And I was really shocked. It has hi-fi sound. Really nice. And the bass, it, that's on a different level than the S1 Pro completely. So I said to myself, hmm, I have a bass that almost sounds like a subwoofer. And I, I do emphasize almost. It's quite a bit better than the S1 Pro. I, I thought to myself, what if I match them up? Maybe the base of the JBL would match up with that beautiful um, S1 Pro sound. And in my opinion, it, it did work. So again, there's always a downside. The S1 Pro, it's rated at 103 dB. Again, it's a small speaker, 6.5 inch woofer. You're not going to get a uh, huge sound out of that. 
It goes up, in my real world testing, it goes up to about 99, maybe 100 before it starts uh, distorting, getting harsh. And I, I wouldn't want to push it anywhere near 103 because it doesn't sound good anymore. So let's say 100 dB. The JBL, on the other hand, here's the downside. It only goes up to 87 dB on the same track. So that's a considerable difference. And by the way, the JBL, you can't even push it to a clipping because it just cuts out automatically, which is, I guess, a good feature. It protects the speaker. But when you push it up to max, the music will just stop. So that's a considerable difference in volume. So that's where um, I'm a little disappointed in the system. The, the S1 Pro has so much more volume room, but the JBL just stops at, like I said, 87, 88 dB which is unfortunate. But uh, the, if you keep it at a reasonable volume, this is a very, very nice sounding system. And I'm using the JBL kind of like a portable subwoofer for the S1 Pro. And sometimes I even use, I'll show you that to you a little later, I, I use the JBL on the floor because a floor coupling um, increases bass. Also, anytime you put a speaker with good bass up against a wall or in a corner, that will also give you uh, more bass reinforcement and maybe a, a one or two dB more. So that's the story. Let me go over some specs. Okay, let's talk about price. Uh, good news here. Uh, with everything going up in price, crazy situation the last two years, the JBL has not moved since I purchased it. I've had it for a good six months. Uh, it's still at $400. So that's good news. JBL, maybe they make it here in the good old USA. Um, Bose, which is a USA company, but it's made in China. That has gone up um, quite a bit. $651 at this point. Actually, it didn't go up that much. I bought mine for uh, $600, so it went up $50. So you got a total of $1,050. What's really nice is both speakers are battery powered. JBL lasts as long as the S1 Pro. They're both excellent battery. And uh, the, the, the hookup is very, very simple. I'll show it to you. And there's only one cable involved. You do need, need two speaker stands if you don't want to put the JBL on the floor. And so I'm using one, one, inth, one eighth to one eighth cable. And so it's a very simple setup. Looks very clean. So let me go again, going back to the specs. Uh, the JBL Party Box 110 goes down to 45 hertz. And I believe that figure. It sounds, it really sounds punchy. It sounds good bass. But of course, at what volume? You're not going to be pumping out, uh, you know, 100 dB bass with the Party Box 110, unfortunately. It does go up to 20 hertz, which is also a excellent figure. You know, that's that's what you're looking for in a, in a studio monitor speaker that goes up to at least 20 hertz or higher. Uh, the Bose S1 Pro, and here's the big difference: it goes down to 70 hertz. So again, 45 on the JBL, 70 on the Bose S1 Pro. So that's a huge difference. And that's the, the glaring lacking of the Bose S1 Pro, just very weak in the base, needing a subwoofer. Uh, of course, if you pair up two S1 Pros, it sounds better. It sounds a little louder. Uh, so it might go from 100 dB to maybe you might gain two or three dB the most. It's pretty loud for such small speakers but you'll still be lacking that bass. So my quest is to get a full range sound in a wireless system. Uh, many people are mentioning uh, there is one wireless system out here. The wireless uh, subwoofer I was thinking about is the Yorkville EXM Mobile Sub. Uh, there's only one person on the web who reviewed it, but they gave a very good review. I was under the impression it wasn't very strong because it's only 100 watts. It has dual 8-inch woofers. It's fairly light at less than 40 pounds, but um, it's $900. So I figured uh, that's a lot of money to pay for 
a little bit more money, you can get a real subwoofer, the Sub 1, which I run on external battery power. Again, I made a video about that. But the one reviewer I um, read, he, he really uh, said the EXM Mobile Sub was excellent. So I've never heard it, but that's the only, pretty much the only solution out there in battery operated subs. So that's going back again. That's why I'm doing this pairing. I'm looking for low end with the excellent S1 Pro. And to tell you the truth, the at, at reasonable volumes, the JBL 110 is excellent. I can't, I can't emphasize that enough. It, it really has a hi-fi studio Marta sound. If you're not a headbanger playing, looking for a 100 dB sound. Uh, let's talk about hookup. Like I said, one cable, very simple, but there's always a couple of people, um, newer people to this hobby who ask how to hook it up. So I like to go through this. So from the JBL Party Box 110, I'm using a one inch, one eighth inch uh, cable. Looks like this. You've all seen those. You saw that dust cover um, flip close, huh? That's a pretty nice feature. Keep dirt and moisture out. Okay, so you got your one inch, one eighth inch cable from your AUGs out of the Party Box 110. And then you're gonna go to your Bose S1 Pro, and that's your AUGs in. And then you adjust your volume from your S1 Pro. Anything over 12 noon on the S1 Pro, uh, you're gonna start running into red clipping. So I'm running it a couple of notches down, and that's it. Very, very simple setup. Both speakers, battery powered. Okay, we're gonna do a short sound test. Uh, I already previewed it, so I made sure the S1 Pro wasn't on red clipping. Like I mentioned, the JBL can clip. I just turned that up, my phone up to max. My phone is the source, and it, all, it automatically uh, will not allow it to go into clipping, self distortion. But the JBL uh, is different from the S1 Pro. The S1 Pro, uh, you gotta be careful at 12 noon, it was it was on red. So I had to back it off to 11 or 10.30 or so. You gotta keep your eye on that. Not that it's gonna damage the speaker if it's red, it's flicking a little bit, but I'm just doing these sound tests to show people pretty much the maximum decibels you can get out of these speakers uh, without inflicting any harm or distortion. So here we go, first sound test. It is a um, disc um, I got from YouTube and it is not copyright problem. So here we go. got it 94.9 almost 95 dBs pretty pretty good um, but if you're a headbanger and you're looking for you know 108 dB this is not the system for you anyway this sounded beautiful I don't know how it comes across again I'm using a very um, basic microphone from my cell phone I'm not investing in high quality microphones for YouTube. They still haven't paid me a penny for all these videos, but no, that's not why I'm doing this. But anyway, 94.9 is pretty good, pretty good. Actually, I don't even listen to that volume. I, I like to keep it at 85 dB or lower. So it really sounds hi-fi. I wish um, people could hear this in person. It's very, very impressive sounding. Okay, we're gonna try one more sound demo. Uh, again, copyright free song I got from YouTube.
This time I was able to boost the base on the S1 Pro up to 12 noon without clipping. But if I went one notch higher even, uh, it, it turned to red. So I backed it off to 12 noon. So this, this track might be slightly louder. Let's see what we get. Ninety four point eight. So again, basically the same. So you got to figure about 95 dB and you're going to have beautiful sound at that volume. Pretty good. So what did you guys think about that sound demo? You got to admit that feature is a necessity for every DJ. Also, if you're going to the football game, you can bring this setup. Here's another way to go. Uh, of course, you're only using one pole, which makes it easier. Uh, I got the subwoofer on the floor this time, which might add some even better bass coupling with the floor. I haven't done any tests, and I'm actually, I'm not gonna do that. It's just too much trouble to actually AB it. I'm not gonna go through that. But this, this is another way to do it. It also looks, looks good. Here's your another way to do it, and that is the subwoofer a couple of inches from the wall, getting, again, getting that extra couple of dB base reinforcement. Also, kind of looks pretty good this way too. Your preference. So, let's give a hand to the, the reigning champion, the Bose S1 Pro on top, and our new partner, the JBL, Party Box 110, bringing up the bass. Great feature there again. Oh, that's my dog guarding my expensive Bose equipment. I didn't even get into uh, the feature set of the incredible late show that the Party Box 110 has available, all kinds of different lights and colors, but um, I'm a musician, I'm not a DJ, and so I'm not gonna get into those, that field. Okay, let's sum it up. I know I'm like a kid at a candy shop with those ridiculous sounds, but it's fun anyway, for the first couple of times. Okay, in summary, this system going back to the beginning is mainly for the people out there, and there's quite a few of you, you know who you are, who already own the Bose S1 Pro, or you already own the JBL Party Box 110. By the way, I chose the 110 over the 310, which would have had even more bass, but that thing was just too heavy. If I'm gonna carry something in the 30 pound range, I'm gonna carry my uh, Bose Sub 1 with a battery. Anyway, so for the people who don't have uh, both, if you add one to the other, it really makes an interesting system. Uh, very hi-fi sounding, very full range, and I'm claiming this is a success. Just don't look for maximum dBs in the 100 dB range. This is not the system for you. Okay, this is Bill. It was fun. Hope you enjoyed. More videos in the future. Signing off.